are now five weeks into the 2023 hurricane season and this morning we're learning artificial intelligence could play a key role in disaster relief and recovery for future storms. And ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska introduces us to the emerging field of disaster AI. There are two key areas where Floridians can use disaster artificial intelligence during a hurricane. The first is predicting where a storm might go a lot better. The second is in relief operations. We don't fully understand the behavior of a hurricane. Sometimes we're still surprised by the route it takes. We're starting to realize that there are other factors in play, you know, ambient air, temperature and pressure, and ocean you know, currents as well as temperature. So we're trying to put the last piece of the jigsaw puzzle together based off all that data. Right now, the state of Florida does not use disaster artificial intelligence as a tool for relief, recovery, or predictions. But Neil Sahota, an advisor to the United Nations on AI, tells me it is something our state should start to consider because more data from storms for the AI to crunch, the better the technology becomes. We can at least pull all the people together, pull the resources from all the areas that are impacted, we could probably move mountains. We really could. And the most important part of disaster artificial intelligence is to save lives. So there are things we can do, like on the recovery side, we're already using like, you know, AI powered drones to spot survivors, right? We're, we're using some of these tools to figure out how to quickly you know, transport like medical supplies, food and water. This didn't quite happen last hurricane season, but will probably be in place this this year. In that now that people when they call in that they're looking for relief or they're looking for help, they won't get put on hold or get a busy signal. You see a lot of agencies now using voice AI. In Tampa with photojournalist Reed Moeller, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.